The Infinix Smart 8 and the Technopop 8 are the cheapest new phones you can get from both companies, and the pricing of both phones is almost similar. But which one is the better option? Let's find out. When unboxing the phones, you'll get quite a similar experience. They offer a better experience even than in flagship phones from Apple, Google and Samsung. In both packages, you'll find a transparent phone case, a charger, a USB-C cable and even earphones. So whether you choose either of the phones, you're getting everything you need. Picking up either the Infinix Smart 8 or the Technopop 8, you'll be met with a design that feels comfortably familiar. Both phones have a plastic build on the back and frame, a budget-friendly choice that keeps the price down. The overall shape is quite similar as well, with both having a clean design and a rear camera module that's an imitation of the Pro iPhones. The one difference that's visible from afar is in the camera flash design. With Infinix, it's like a ring while with Techno is the traditional dot. And when it comes to speakers, Infinix has only one speaker at the bottom, while Techno has dual speakers, one at the top and another at the bottom. On to the display, both phones will treat you to a generous 6.6 inch LCD display. This translates to a big enough viewing area, perfect for browsing the web, catching up on videos or enjoying casual games. Resolution wise, they share a 720 x 1612 pixel count, delivering a HD plus viewing experience. They also both have a fast 90Hz refresh rate, which can be set to adaptive to automatically switch between 60Hz and 90Hz to save battery while still giving you an amazing performance. With software, both phones are equipped with Android 13 Go Edition. Android 13 Go is a version of Android designed for smooth performance on devices with lower RAM, making it perfect for these budget phones. But you lack some of the features found in the standard Android 13 you see on high-end devices. When it comes to the user interface on top of Android, Techno equips the Pop 8 with its iOS skin, while Infinix uses their XOS skin. Now while both interfaces offer a decent amount of customization options that you won't find on stock Android, they also come with bloatware that you can't uninstall. Again, when you put the two side by side, you'll notice the very many similarities from them. There's also no promise for software updates from both phones, but we hope for at least one update. Both the Techno Pop 8 and the Infinix Smart 8 are designed to deliver the basics when it comes to performance. They don't have the most powerful features, but they get the job done for the day-to-day -day tasks. Under the hood, both phones use the Unisoc T606 chipset, a pretty basic processor that's good enough for basic day-to-day -day stuff but not heavy gaming or anything like that. Even when it comes to RAM and storage, they have the same configurations, 3GB or 4GB of RAM and 64GB or 128GB of storage, both expandable. Finally, on the cameras, again, they have the exact same camera systems. A main 13 megapixel sensor, a useless 0.08 megapixel auxiliary lens, and an 8 megapixel selfie camera. Is there any difference between the camera quality? I personally don't think so. I believe it's a matter of preference. Now let's be realistic about what to expect. In good lighting conditions, these phones can capture decent photos. However, keep in mind that colors might appear a bit oversaturated and fine details will be a little soft. Low light photography is where these budget cameras struggle. Expect blurry photos with noticeable noise. For video recording, both the front and rear cameras can manage an 80p resolution at 30 frames per second. But again, the quality won't be as good as high-end phones. But that should be obvious. Don't buy a cheap budget phone, then start complaining that its camera is not to your liking. You get what you pay for. Looking at both of the phones, it's quite clear that they are two sides of the same coin. It's pretty much the same phone, just in different bodies and branding. There are minor differences such as the flash design, speaker setup and the user interface skin, but most people won't notice. You can try to lie to yourself that one of these phones is better than the other, but the truth of the matter is that it's basically the same thing. Getting one over the other is a matter of preference of a brand and nothing else. Thanks for watching, I'm Milan and this is Fuzitech. Subscribe.